Now the next thing we need to do in order to figure out what lands meet our criteria is we need to run something called the raster calculator. Here's the raster calculator dialog box. But before we run that, I want to show you my input layers that I'm going to use. First of all, I've got the slope map. Here's a slope map showing low to high slopes in degrees. You can see that my high is 45, so I've got a slope somewhere in there of 45 degrees. Not quite a cliff, but pretty steep. After all, it is the Loos Hills of, of uh, eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. And I also have an elevation grid. Now, the slope and the elevation grid are both 10 meter spatial resolution raster files. So my elevation grid I've got from 302 to 419 meters above sea level. My criteria here is going to be, according to my original problem statement, I want the slopes to be almost flat, 5 degrees or less, and the elevation to be at least 380 meters above sea level. So I'm going to use parens here, and I'm going to select the following. I'm going to start with slope. The slope grid is less than or equal to 5. Okay, And I'm going to put parens around that. And, which is this ampersand here, very important, we'll get into that in a different video about and versus or. The, I'm going to use the parens here, DEM UTM, which is my DEM digital elevation model in UTM coordinates, is greater than or equal to 380. And a right paren. And my output raster, I'm going to call it slope. 5, I'll we'll call it elevation 380. That's more descriptive. OK? That'll give me a clue as to what I actually input to get this resulting layer. I could also look at the geoprocessing results. So I'm going to say OK here and let it crank away. <clears throat> so my result has two values in it. Let's go ahead and look at those values. Right here, the value is 0. OK? And over here in these green areas, the value is 1. So anytime you're doing raster calculations, the false cells that do not meet the criteria get a value of 0. The true get a value of 1. And because I use the ampersand, I've got high elevations and I've got low slopes. In other words, the elevations over here, well, let's just take a look at the hill shade here for, for a moment. There's my hill shade. As you can see in the northeast area, this is the Missouri River floodplain. It was flat, it is flat, but it's also low in elevation. Whereas over here in the western parts of this piece of the Earth's surface, it is flat, but it's also high in elevation. So. What I have as a result is this. And I'm going to turn off the, well, not turn off. I'm going to make the false invisible. So now I've got the hill shade underneath with my flat and high ground right here in this greenish color. Great.